Ich stelle daher den Anschein den Nobelpreis für Physik Nikola Tesla für die Entdeckung der Hochfrequenzströme und des elektromagnetischen Drehfeldes zu vorleihen. Zwei physikalische Leistungen, die der Menschheit zum allergrößten Nutzen gereicht haben. They literally turned off the public's mind, they manipulated the public's mind. They hypnotized them into a sleep and forgetfulness. You know, the media was new and fresh to them, and they realized that they could really manipulate whole populations with it. And that's what they did with Nikola Tesla. 1400 nominations and only one of them for Tesla. Invented our beautiful power system. I used electricity my whole life up to that time and had no idea that he was the inventor of it. So Tesla achieved replacing all the coal, individual coal-fired plants that were sickening and poisoning everybody around them into electric motors and cleaned the whole thing up. He has 700 plus patents attributed to his name that if we would have taken him out of modern society today we would be catapulted back to 19th century. But, but his vision for the system of communication is for example exactly what they're doing. He said that the Hertzian method is not the best method and yet that's the way we went because of Marconi stealing the original idea from Tesla. Since we have known that Marconi got the prize uh, you can't go back if you have made a decision it might be totally wrong. And he made the claim in many courts that he could generate megawatts of electricity with just a few hundred horsepower of mechanical power from a steam engine. And that's how he powered his Warden Cliff. So that is also connected to this strange thing that Tesla wasn't on because to my mind he should have at least attracted uh, uh, a few nominations. And at that time that's when they started to attack his reputation, try to make him look like a kook and a crank in the press. And all, all that information was then used to form the RCA Corporation, which became a very big moneymaker for the established establishment. Did everything in their power to discredit him, so he would never be able to achieve that, that he would never be able to get funding from somebody else to achieve like free energy, which I think was like one of the biggest crimes against humanity that ever happened. How could it be that someone who had done so many important things, how come this guy wasn't being taught in all the schools and all the books? Tesla, I mean, the gracious and fighting Tesla's gracious, service fighting gracious. At the end of the end, there's no even this museum there. It is the, it's the genius of not just our genius, just, you know, all genius. Interesting is that, um, that the Nobel Committee really states that Tesla's work holds the mark of genius. Preaslej bo človeštvo prišlo po drugačnih poteh, tudi do njegovih spoznan, in bomo lahko uporabili to, kar bi lahko uporabljali že za spoleg. But definitely, yeah, he deserves way more than Nobel Prize. That's why, you know, to let Nikola Tesla just be a myth, it just leads people astray from what he really brought us. We're not letting it die, and we're making sure mankind gets the full use of his legacy. So we're trying to wake him back up.